Welcome back everyone. Today is going to be a very special day for me and my friends because today is official day of Summerween. I decided to go with the Gravity Falls date, but um, it's going to be the first time ever doing Summerween with my friends. So we're going to try it out, see how it is. And I'll definitely probably show a face review, uh, face reveal later on in my costume because I'm not going to be wearing this mask. So most likely you're going to see sort of a face reveal. I'm going to be the Joker for this party. Um, in this kind of outfit, uh, I just picked out on Amazon. That was pretty cool, you know. And I'm not being wearing this hat. Uh, I'm just gonna like um, paint my hair green for the party. Can't wait to start. I'll see you guys there. Yo, it's Summer Wing Joker here in the Summer Wing party. No longer Dead Boy Geo. This is sort of a face reveal, isn't it? Imagine like, oh. <laughs> Yo, so we got pollo campero, pavilion chicken, pizza, and some pasta. I got my mate, people got their drinks. Hell yeah. Say what's up. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Liam. I mean, this is so What? Oh, hi. Hello. All right, so who am I here with today? Jinjarn. Say, say close to the camera. Jinjarn. Sick, what do you think about this party? It's all right, you should come in Boba. Hell yeah, it's two Star Wars guys. I'm not really, I don't really know much about Star Wars, but it looks pretty dope. What's your guys' opinion on Summer Wee, like this this whole thing? It's new to be honest, but I'm not used to it, but it's fun. It's new for everyone, bro. Yeah. Hell yeah, what you think? Greatest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Hell yeah. Who am I here with today? Huh? Who am I here with today? Um, Alex. Alex, the Squid Game guy. What's your opinion on Summer Ween? Like, what do you think? This is uh, interesting. I've never heard of Summer Ween ever before in my life. Me neither. It just came up, you know, this idea came from my aunt. I decided to do this party myself. So, you're like, you know, fuck it, let's do it. Yeah, for real. What do you rate this party out of 10? 8.5 out of 10. Bad. Who am I here with today? Hi, I'm So, but I'm, all, but I'm also Batgirl. Of course, we should eat the Reaper this time. But hey, back girl. What's your opinion on Summer Ween? Quite a crazy experience, to, I gotta say. It's like having two Halloweens in one year. Hell yeah, just like the Gravity Falls episode, huh? Yep. Did you watch that one? Yep. Awesome, huh? Mm -hmm. What do you rate this party out of 10? 9 out of 10. Hey, hello, who am I here with today? Hi, I am Nathan Yee. How you doing? Doing good, how are you today? I am a little bit. I am doing. I am having fun. Describe your costume to the camera. Oh, I'm a guy who was on vacation. A guy on vacation, pretty yeah. simple, but pretty dope. So what's your opinion on the Summer Ween event? It's pretty fun, I actually, fun. This is like my first Summer Ween thing, so yeah. Hell yeah, what do you rate out of 10? I wanna say a 10, it's 10? pretty fun. Pretty fun, here we're today? Chloe. Chloe, yeah. nice, what you got there? Uh, glow sticks, and if you put them together, they kind of look like a pride flag. <laughs> For it's real. perfect because it's June, and June right. is pride month. Totally forgot about that, yeah. Hey! Oh, yo. Makes sense, yeah. <laughs> she, she vibing. If I put the glow sticks in my shirt, like this, you can still see them a little bit. Oh, for real? Yeah. Hey, that's actually your costume. Describe uh, your costume to the people. I'm a vet assistant. And that's actually her uniform because she actually works at the vet, which is actually pretty cool. Yeah. I came all the way from work. I didn't have time to change into a costume. In uh, Sherman Oaks, huh? Oh, yeah. All the way in Sherman Oaks. Sherman Oaks Veterinary Group. Come Hell visit yeah. me. Vet. I work so, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Bet. We'll see you there. We'll see you there. Yeah. Bring your pets, guys. You got any six pets? Bring it to her. <laughs> she know what to do. <laughs> What's your opinion on uh, summer ween? It's cool. It's fun. Yeah. It's really fun. What should we like add? Uh, oh hell yeah! Nice lights. What should we add? A ten. Uh, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Yeah. Hey. No cupcakes. No cookies. Hey, cookies. Oh. Yeah. Where? No cookies over there. On the other side. Hold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you. Stop the cap. All right, so who am I here with today? <laughs> Go against Doi. No, no. Look at this madness, guys. What the hell? Oh, damn. Oh, God. <laughs> sure, we can say that. God, hell. 
I think this guy is gonna die soon. I'm assuming. Some people just can't handle summer ween, can't they? Who am I here with today? Um, we are with Santana. Santana? Describe your costume to the people. My thoughts to the people? No, your costume. My costume? Yeah. Oh, well, first of all, I am wearing no costume. Uh, just a normal drip. Uh, regular, typical outfit, I guess. I just made up. Uh, so I come with no costume. Hey, what's your opinion on Summer Ween though? Huh? What's your opinion? Like, what's your thoughts about this party, Summer Ween? My thoughts about this party, my opinion, I think it's a pretty cool party. It's chill. Um, but I just like the vibes of it. That's the vibes? Hell yeah. What's your out of 10? Uh, I'll say 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10? I'm here with. Alright. Who am I here with today? Oh. I'm just, um, uh, I, w I totally was not sent here by uh, a missionary group. Shit, yeah. So, like, your costume is, uh, what would you even, like, describe it? Um, uh, well, let's just say that, let's just say that I make a lot of money by, uh, killing people. Killing people? Damn, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. I can pop, killer. Yeah. I'm probably cool cool you right now for like uh well like uh ten thousand dollars some. Alright for sure. Yeah. But after this interview you can kill me. So like what do you think about summer ween? Summer ween? It's alright. I mean it's pretty interesting, uh, uh it's like Halloween or shit during the summer. You shit, know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So from which way out of ten? Um, I'll probably get like an eight and a half. I bet, yeah, kill me, bro. I get a cartel stuff. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. You see this now? I won the fucking party. Look at him. You know what? I know one good way. I know. One very good solution that can put him out of his misery. Move the camera down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Bring out the bring out the glow stick torture device. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Damn. Oh. Remember, it's Get not the length that matters. I just got robbed. I just got robbed. It's how you yeah. rip off the length of someone else. Oh shit, what? Yeah, yeah, I know. We should we should tie this around his neck and probably like tie him up around the Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> Damn bro, that's crazy. Yo. Hi. We're playing Uno. Oh no, no, look at my cards. Too late. I know you have a two. Yeah, yeah. I know you have to choke to that. Oh. Yeah, I know you so, a red, a K, we're all done. Oh, we're looking through this dance for you like this. This is fine. Yeah, I told you. Hey. It's pretty dope. <laughs> it's our terrible card. Good. Yeah. Playing Scream and I am the killer. But I'm the Joker, so we can call this the Joker, not Scream. <laughs> Yo, Nathan. Ah, you gotta get closer, Nathan. Nathan. <laughs> no! You gotta move closer so that you can easily trade. Phone, okay, I this. Trade for cheese. Okay. Here's your key, my good sir. Thank and you. Thank you for your popcorn. Huh? Thank you for the Go. That. Oh, shoot. I already went. Ah, okay. Does anybody have love? I do. No. Okay, I'll turn you on. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, I just need one more phone, but I need uh, yeah. 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 Ye
Asian. 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 Still in the lead. So in steady. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's trying to kill us. And it goes for another one. Damn. And it goes. Oh, shit. I got to get off the team. I got to get off the team. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You're playing punk for a hell of a long time, bro. You're gonna win this, huh? We're gonna win this. We're gonna win this. I'm gonna finally win my first. I'm gonna win my final win this first. about to play in double danger pool hell yeah so like in this game pretty much uh we're just hitting in the red balls and then i'm um, hitting in the green and the black after so basically it's like double eight ball pool but we're just hitting red balls and stuff Oh hell no! You gotta come to that casino night, bro. Uh, I'm oh, sure God. we'll make it. Just uh, tell us what day. For sure. Yeah. Catch you later, bro. Say bye to the camera. All right. See you guys. Hope you have a good night, bro. Yeah. Take um, care. Send me some clips. I can post on my channel. All right. For sure. Mm -hmm. See you, bro. Idiot guy person for twenty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's the next day. And summer ween has officially ended at my place. This is pretty much aftermath of how the party looks. Um, this guy's in perfect condition still, which I'm really happy for. Um, definitely a bit hard to fix, but he's doing pretty good. So that's pretty cool the pool table um, these are actually on um, the DJ over there um, just call him DJ hijack because I used to call him Jack the Reaper <laughs> since I was little actually so it's pretty cool and yeah I put these on him uh, I think they died but there's like light on them and yeah this is the pool table uh, we're playing this really cool game this guy doesn't work this is a game I made up of snooker balls I have, so we came up with this game called Double Danger, where it's basically like all red balls and two like um, eight balls you can say. So then your goal is just making all the red balls like individually, and so you're not like in a team or anything. I mean, I guess you can have teams. And then you make the green and the black last. It's my dog over there. And uh, yeah, Rocky Moore right here. Uh, they're all off except for him. So um, yeah, um, Rosemary works pretty well. Only thing is that uh, she's really sensitive. Like, if you even like walk near the step pad, she will like go off somehow. I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it's she's too sensitive or she just has like a time limit or she would just go off every few minutes or so. So that's how she was. Uh, we had Candy over here. Um, pretty much, um, this other reaper right here, my broken one, just put some of these so people could grab. Um, yeah, there was a lot more, uh, what do you call these Hawaiian necklaces? And then, um, now there's definitely a lot less. Look at that deflated palm tree. That one is actually over here. I don't know, somehow, that one ended up all the way over here. 
Um, these are my Summer Ween cups that I made up. I'm a Summer Ween 2024. Uh, my other drink. Yeah, I made like a little table so they put their drinks on. These are my glasses. Um, table is pretty much back to normal. Just gotta clean it up a little more. Um, yeah, I know I should have showed like this whole footage maybe before the party, but I don't know. I just thought it was kind of cool looking at this aftermath. And then uh, look at this guy. He's chilling right here. Um, doesn't really work anymore, but he just sits there. Uh, and then I have this little display here. Um, these are actually, uh, they do light up pretty nice. Uh, another palm tree here, some decor. Um, the monkey got my spirit discount last year. And um, look at this, look at all these ants that are literally devouring this pumpkin. This uh, jackal melon, I should say. Then also have these uh, candle lights, look at them. I turn them off, but it's just, they're so weird because randomly they would just turn on. Makes no sense, but this is why, like, I like them, but, like, I don't like them. So, like, they just go off randomly. So, like, I, I just don't know why some stuff, like, does that. But, um, I wish there was a way to fix it or, like, for it to not happen. It just goes, turns on randomly, and then you have to turn them off. Oh, yeah, and I put that sweet summer sign. Uh, a couple of arcade machines. I put ice in these so that we could put ice in our cups. And I actually just recently went to visit my family in Guatemala, and um, I bought some, I bought some candies, and uh, they're pretty cool. They, they taste really good. Um, we still had a bunch left, but we had like two more of these, so the other two finished. So these are the ones that are left. And yeah, yeah. It's another picture from Guatemala I got. It's a quetzal. It's a it's the bird, their main bird, the mascot, whatever you call it. Um, Aloha. And there's that guy. <laughs> and I had like a bunch of these like LED signs and they looked really nice. And uh, yeah, I had those over there. So they were pretty cool. And then I had this whole thing right here. And um, yeah, this looks really awesome. Oh yeah, and um, I got this disco light uh, about a few months ago. And I spent over $300 on it, I think. And it was, it's a pretty amazing light. Just that uh, I wish it had like a real control where you could like control it. Cause like all it does is really light up and dance to music. Here, let's show it out. So, I guess a little startup. And there we go. It's an amazing light. I just wish I had fog so that I could, you know, make it look even better. But yeah, for uh, what it does, I think it's maybe worth $100 or less. But if you're looking to invest in a really cool light, um, this one could work for pretty much any party. Um, does what it does, you know, does what it needs to do. <laughs> and uh, only things that you could control it with DMX or something. Um, but you could also manually control it through here. So it's not all that bad, but I just wish it came with a control so you could like manually do it. And so that's easier. But yeah, yeah, and then these are my two dolls. Um, you can tell, I actually, I made this one. So this one, um, I did not turn any of them on. I was planning on turning maybe one of them on at a time, like switch them around over time in a party, but um, it's just, I didn't even use them because uh, we had so many people yesterday, maybe like 15 or 16 um, party guests and uh, you know, took over the whole floor. So um, I couldn't really put them out because they're also gonna be bumping into people. They'll be falling, getting ruined and it could just get annoying, you know? So I decided not to turn them on. Um, you guys probably already know what she does, but this is the one I made. Um, she's pretty much using the, um, roaming witch broom base. I just got for maybe $20 on uh, eBay. You can also probably find it at Big Lots and use like a doll instead. But I, I think the soundtrack is perfectly since I actually put this, um, skirt on. So like, here, check this out. Only thing is that she's just a little too fast. Oh 
Oh yeah. And um, one issue with her is that she would like bump into the pool table or like to a chair and then she would just literally like tip over. Because um, she, I tried putting her as best as I could, but like hot glue just does not do the trick. Like I have to put her on like rubber bands and um, that's kind of how like how she stands. So she's standing okay now, but if someone should like knock her over, she would definitely like fall off the base completely. So she's just really uh, delicate. Yeah, she's kind of moving in circles. Cause uh, I, th I think, I think I put her a little more to the right on the base. So that's why she's kind of like going in circles like that. I seen her even her out a little more and she'd probably be fine. All right, this one, her uh, skirt fell off, but it used to be up to here. Uh, she's really slow. Um, she kind of has like an issue where she would like just completely stop and it's like kind of just maybe move around side to side. Like I checked her hair, maybe her wheels are just getting weak and I barely even used her, which is a funny thing. So, um, I don't know, I got just like check in on this one. But yeah. This is my dog, Burla. But yeah, um, I think that concludes everything for summer ween. The very first summer ween I ever had. Um, the way this started, um, I'm just gonna tell you right now. This all came from my aunt. Um, this literally just popped in my head through my aunt. Like, she's the one who gave me the idea because uh, she was giving out all these uh, uh, summer decor, like palm trees and all this decor and stuff, you know, it's Hawaiian looking stuff. Um, but yeah, she was like, she was gonna give them, she was just gonna give them away. And she was like, hey, uh, since you're here, I know you like having parties. Um, and your mom tells me that um, you love having parties a lot. So like, um, I'm actually getting rid of all this summer decor. And um, I'm wondering if you want to uh, look into it and you know, keep them. So I'm like, oh, really? So she takes me down to the basement. Or, yeah, the basement. <laughs> and um, she has like a whole box of all, all kinds of like summer decorations, like those as well. And then I'm um, just looking into it and he's like, whoa, you're so cool. And maybe I could throw some kind of summer party. And then she just goes like, yeah. And since you love Halloween so much, uh, maybe you could throw something related with summer and Halloween. Oh, and then I'm like, oh, wait, there we go. And that's when the idea popped in and she's like yeah you could do like a summer ween kind of thing I'm like hell yeah so then this is when i came up with this idea of this kind of party and um i thought it was pretty i thought it was a pretty cool party i mean a little strange to do in the summer since this is my first time but um yeah i know six flags has a screen break event in april so that's also pretty cool like i actually got some inspiration with like the, the lights and stuff and like the type of music, like it just fits in really well with this kind of stuff. So yeah, thanks to my aunt, I got a really cool party. Hopefully we get to do it again next year and for years to come. Um, you guys let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this party. And um, hopefully we can do something like this next year and something even better in Halloween. Thanks for watching everyone, peace out.